fifth generation Prius came out last year for 2023 model year. That is now turning to a 2024 model year already. And we have information about the 2024 model year. And really, I'm not going to burst your bubble. There's nothing new with the 2024 Prius. I mean, most of us who are interested in buying a Prius are still waiting for one. Um, but we did get pricing updates and there are some changes for the 2024 model year. And most of this via, uh, video, I'm going to be talking about how you can better secure your very own Prius. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, pulling up my old spreadsheet here from last year, just updated pricing here for 2024. It looks like there's about a $200 price bump across the board, which is better than inflation. I think a part of that is they build this in Japan and the uh, the inflation isn't as bad over there with the Japanese yen. And so uh, when you convert it from US dollars, they are still making a lot of money, well, in theory, on the Prius by not even uh, marking it up much more than last year. Now, the dealers can still mark it up. That's a different situation altogether. But um, about $200 across the board. Um, and I believe that's also the case for the all-wheel drive models, which is about a $1,600 premium over the front-wheel drive models. I don't have a pricing on the Prime yet. No, Toyota, I want to show you something here. Uh, because it's not available right now. There is a link to it, but interestingly, it's September 1st uh, for the 2024 updates for the Prime. But when I click on it, it says it has found a new home. And so it's like that link is dead, um, but it looks like they the pricing on the 2024 Prime has been done since September 1st. We just don't have 100% access to it. Now, if I look in the area around me, around 150 miles from my area, there's only six Priuses. And some of these are available and some of them aren't available. I'll show you why here in a little bit. And there are no primes within 500 miles of me. The closest prime um, that seems to be available, and it is getting some price. Well, it's not really getting a price drop because this is uh, seemingly overpriced from the factory, meaning it's marked up. Um, but yeah, there are, uh, primes out there, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way because cars.com is not the easiest way to see what's available, what's coming. I'll put these, uh, links down in the description below because you'll be able to find any incoming or allocated Toyota vehicle. Not only that, you'll be able to see, uh, Lexus models and Hyundai models if you're in the market for those as well. This amazing spreadsheet uh, will also tell us how many XLEs are allocated or on the lots, um, how many LEs, how many limiteds as well. So if I just click on LE here, what's cool is I can go to the state. I'm in Florida. There's actually one here in Naples that is allocated, uh, but there's a dealer hold on it. So someone has, it's not pre-sold. So I don't look at pre-sold. Pre-sold means probably paperwork would be already done on that. I wouldn't look into that. What you want to look into is dealer hold because dealer hold means there's money down on the car. There's a purchase agreement probably uh, signed, but not a, a full on like paperwork, if that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it based off of my old salesman law knowledge, but dealer hold to me means there's money down on the car. Some of these are still 2023s on the Prius. Um, but if I go to the prime, I think all those are 24s at this point. But anyways, we have a dealer hold here on these allocated models. There's one here that's actually in Doral or Doral. I mean, Cassie would kill my wife would kill me. She's from that part of Florida. Um, and that I think it's Doral. I could be wrong, but it, I, <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. You guys are probably going to roast me. But anyways, um, yeah, there's actually one on the ground there and it is available. That one is an LE. Well, I mean, I'm only looking at LEs right now. And that one's Windchill Pearl. Um, and it'll even tell you the interior color, I believe. Yes, light gray. So that one's a nice model there. It's a very, I mean, you can see the gradient blacks are the majority of the interior on these LE models. So it looks like they're actually running out of LEs um, allocations. There's just not a lot out of there. They're probably switching over the 2024 model year, but you can do the same for every single trim level as well as all wheel drive is separated on the all, uh, on the limited for whatever reason. Um, but there's just not a lot out there. And like I said, most of them are spoken for because of the dealer hold status, but there are some that slip through the cracks or maybe some buyers that are no longer interested. Maybe they moved on. Um, but there's also a spreadsheet, uh, like I said, for every single model here. So um, I'm now on the Prius Prime and you can see there are about, I don't know, 300, short of 300 available or 
in the system, I should say. Um, are there any in Florida? Well, cars.com did a pretty good job at telling us there are none in Florida. Uh, but yeah, there are no, I mean, there's no Florida here. If I look at XSE, um, oh, there's one in Delray Beach. It's actually on the ground and it is available. So there's one here in Florida that has slipped through the cracks as an XSE model. It is Guardian Gray um, and they only have black interior on the XSE models. So XSE Premium here. Um, are there any here in Florida? Doesn't look like it. Um, so there's one XSE here. So that, this is how useful this is. And not only will it tell you if it's available, it'll tell you which dealership is and it'll also tell you um, their website and uh, their phone number that you can get a hold of them. So I feel like this is the best tool possible in order to get um, a better idea of the availability as well as probably the best tool possible to secure your model. Now, you could always, because this is just, you know, snapping up what Toyota's already pre-built. There's a way to, you, I mean, you can talk to your local dealer and they will custom order your own Prius, but that could take longer. And sometimes Toyota and especially Lexus, they don't build what you want sometimes, especially Lexus. Like they, they, that's a coin flip if you're going to get what exactly what you want in that custom build. In my experience, um, Toyota might be a little bit different, a little bit more customizable, more willing to make the build that you want, how you want it. But I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the link to this down below. And all of them have, um, if you go to the bottom tab here, all of them have links to the, the specific model. So if you're looking for like a Sienna, for example, which is a really hard model to come by, um, you'll be able to do that here with this spreadsheet. Like, And if you're looking for an IS500, for example, you'll be able to see um, the, the exclusivity of that car and see if there'd be a way for you to get your hands on a new IS500. And then Hyundai's included in this spreadsheet as well. And if you appreciate this spreadsheet, there's a, a link to where you can uh, buy the owner of this spreadsheet, the updater of this spreadsheet, the creator, like I look up to this guy because I appreciate this spreadsheet. I refer to spreadsheets all the time. You saw my initial spreadsheet here. How many times can I say spreadsheet in an entire article, an entire video? I don't know, but you can uh, donate for him. You can give him some money to buy a coffee or whatever. And I honestly like that is an amazing service he's doing for the Toyota, Lexus and Hyundai community here with this amazing spreadsheet. This is only for the United States, not for Canada. If you guys are fed up with the Prius games, just save a bunch of money, get a uh, Corolla hybrid. These are much higher volume across the United States. Like I mentioned, there's hardly any Priuses here in Florida, but look at all these uh, like, and, and they're not spoken for. I want to make that clear. All the pre pretty much I'd say like 80% of the Priuses are spoken for. There's money down on them. There's no money down on these uh, Corolla hybrids. They're all available. There's one in my area. Well, I should say in Florida, West Palm Beach. That's two and a half hours from here. That's on dealer hold. The rest of them are available. So this thing is going to be a much easier car to get your hands on. No, it doesn't have the sex appeal. No, it doesn't have the performance. Uh, no, it doesn't have a plug-in hybrid variant, but it is still efficient. And they updated it for the 2024 three model year as a mid-cycle refresh with fifth generation hybrid technology. So this is a great settling car. So if you can't get your Prius, get yourself Corolla hybrid, which is of course baked into this spreadsheet. So I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm still waiting on my Prius Prime, but I'll update you guys if I hear anything on a Prius Prime on my area. But like Florida, the chance of getting a Prius Prime are essentially impossible at this point due to the carb states sucking up all the Prime models of plug-in hybrids. And then I'll see if my contacts with Toyota can help me out in getting a Prius Prime, which is not easy because they don't have direct control of Southeast region where I live. But it's, yeah. I'll update you guys if I get any good news about my Prius Prime. I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and peace.